Hello guys, it's me Hated Reviews here, welcome back to another video. Uh, before we start this video, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Aaron Mendoza Jr. Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, but he put me in his video and I thought, wow mate, woo! I'm in someone's video, whoop whoop! And um, I wanted to give him a quick shout out, I've done it before on my channel. But, um, he's in the description, uh, he, doesn't, he makes some good reviews and stuff like that, he does other videos. Um, but anyway, today we're going to be doing this fine gentleman. What, uh, it's basically just going to tell us why, if you're an atheist, you should say Muslim, not all Muslims, not all Muslims are bad, okay? But yeah, let's get right into this. Comrades, there's a growing movement to smear all Muslims as supporters of Islamic extremism and groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Okay, I have two problems here. Comrades, which is just fucking retarded, and no, no, hi, no, how you been, how's your day been, good, now let's talk about this, now just straight in, like, bam, 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 Al-Qaeda, yeah, fuck Muslims, they're alright, okay, guys, they're definitely not doing any terrorism, yeah, woo, you know, like, he's just like, yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, um, I don't, there's nothing really bad here, so, yeah, let's just carry on. Simply because they share the same religion, but the basis of these arguments is incredibly flawed and has obvious ulterior motives. I'm sure he's gonna bring up some good facts, of course. Let's hear him out, okay guys? Let's hear him out. People like Bill Maher, Sam Harris, Richard Dawkins, and a few other prominent figures are considered to be the main faces of this new brand of secular fundamentalism called New Atheism. It's important not to confuse them with regular atheists, who simply believe there's no God and have no political motive in that belief. No political motive. Well, I think most atheists will have a problem with the Ten Commandments then. Because that was uh, thought as fucking law back in the day, wasn't it? So, I think most atheists would have a problem with that, first of all. And the fact that you're saying, like, um, atheism and then, uh, what was it, like, like the main wave now of fem um, feminism, of uh, atheism. And the new wave of atheism is basically saying, everyone's saying that, like, oh, not all Muslims, not all Muslims are like that. And I'd say the majority are. Have you, have you seen where the wars are going on at the moment? They're going in, not our countries, not, um, you know, m countries with uh, fucking Christians or any other religion at the moment, is going on in the countries where they're mostly Muslims. You know, like, what am I supposed to get from that? Like, oh, it's just, it's just where they come from. And people like ISIS and Al-Qaeda, as you said in the beginning, are using this as a ter terrorism. And the book says that they should do it. And, you know, what what, we, what are they what is he supposed to say? Nah, not all Muslims. You know, just, just shut up. A few months ago, Richard Dawkins sent out a tweet saying, no, all religions are not equally violent. Some have never been violent. Some gave it up centuries ago. One religion conspicuously didn't. Can you guess which one he's referring to? You guessed it. It's Islam. Okay guys, I just want you to cast your mind to think about something for a minute. When's the last time you heard of an act of terror that wasn't done by Islam? Give you a minute, give you a minute. No, I, I can't remember a single thing. Uh oh, any other religion, I mean, not dissonant. Die just shooting up a fucking school, you're like, fuck yeah, like, it happens every week in, um, uh, what was it, America, you know, <laughs> with the gun laws of it, anyway, I, I, I couldn't remember a single one, I, I thought about this for a good half an hour, I couldn't think of any, but he, in a religion that wasn't, um, in our, in a fucking, in, in India, <laughs> or whatever they come from, that was like, hmm, I'm gonna do some terrorism, any other religion for that, and the reason why people attack Islam so much is because they do so much terror and it's all that they, they have an old mate they have their fucking Bible or the Quran Saying that they should so what we're we supposed to sit back and be like You know what guys? Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna let it slide today. You know what? Uh, no reason to uh No reason to worry. No, I, I don't what why would you do that? Why? Why the fuck? Would you do that, man? To sit idly by when it happens in your own country? I don't know where you come from. You know, in your own country, that 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 is barbaric, bit. It's barbaric, okay? Just anyway. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, let's go on the next clip. Yes, there are extremists who claim to act in the name of Islam, but there are also progressive Muslims in places like Turkey, Indonesia, and obviously in the West. 
but there are Buddhist extremists in Myanmar and other parts of Southeast Asia. The problem I have with your analogy is the country, no, the religions you stated aren't doing it anymore. He, he um, done Christianity, um, Hinduism, um, and I'm pretty sure I said another one, but I'm going to cut two of them out uh, too long. Uh, they're not doing terrorism anymore. They're not doing it for, like, the Bible or whatever Hindus worship, whatever. I don't know. Who cares? They're not doing that. They're not, like, going... <laughs> Shooting everybody up because of in the name of Allah, are they? Or in the name of the, what god they worship? But you know who are? ISIS. ISIS. And they support Islam. So what am I supposed to get from that? Like, yeah, just uh, this one slide today, guys. And also you're saying what? So they do it, so it's okay for, for ISIS to do it. So what? All, all war and all terrorism is okay if other people do it. What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? How is their interpretation so wrong? Part of it is a conscious ignorance, especially when it comes to the existence of extremism in other religions. So ignorance to other religions being, you know, extremists. And this goes back to a point when, again, have you heard a Christian or Hindu be like, pew 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 pew, to a, a whole, like, sort of area, like sort of shoot it up, huh? When have you heard that shit? It doesn't happen anymore, does it? God damn. And ignorance? Yeah, of course I'm fucking ignorant to, to um, religion. Of course I am, because I hate it. But another part of it is a flawed understanding of how people use religion. Reza Aslan, a religious scholar, says new atheists believe the followers of religions see religious texts more as how-to guides to be taken fully and literally, essentially taking their values from their religion. However, he says in the real world, people bring their values to their religions and find their own meaning in the text, essentially picking and choosing which passages support their views. My problem with this is, why would you need the book then, if you already know what morals you're going to choose in the first place, or whatever you're going to choose? Why would you need the book? That's why, just because you're an atheist, doesn't mean you're going to be a horrible person in the first place. So why would I need something to tell me that is wrong, even though I'm going to choose it anyway? So, y y you know, c come on, you fucking retard. Peace. When faced with the question of how most religious people don't take their texts literally, new atheists simply brush it off as those people not being true believers in the religion. So I have a guy in, in ISIS that's uh, about to do a bombing, and he says, Oh, no, no, it's in, in, it's in here, in the book, and it says it should do. And then I have another guy that's not a, a terrorist. No, he disbelieves in Allah and stuff like that, the Bible. Oh no, sorry, the Quran. And he's like, yeah, no, it, you shouldn't do that because it says it in here. The whole point is because you're cherry picking it. You, you want things that you particularly like in it. it in, in reality, you, you shouldn't do that. Like, otherwise, religion, how would it work? How the fuck would it work? Come on. Come on, man. Just, just get off your high, high pedestal, you piece of shit. Come on, come back down and we'll teach you some stuff, okay? This inability to look past the worldview to the reality is what leads to the promotion of violence by new atheists, which are often in line with what many neoconservatives and Christian fundamentalists also support. It's odd because new atheists claim to be liberals, despite having so much in common with the right wing, and are now essentially accepted to be secular fundamentalists. The great thing about being an atheist is it doesn't change pretty much anything except for your hate for religion and a, you know, just that you, the fact that you don't believe in it, or a lack of belief, or whatever, and I don't, why would that affect your political opinion? I don't get why that would be like, oh, you're a Christian, no, you're a, um, you're an atheist, you're a left wing. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, you don't have to be anything if you're an atheist. I'm pretty sure there's, like, um, the amazing atheist, I don't really like him, but, um, I know he has Christian fans, so it's not the fact that something leads to something like, like you know, like that. It doesn't it doesn't matter if you're an atheist. It doesn't mean you're going to be a left winger. Christopher Hitchens was a well-known supporter of the Iraq War and believed the country would be a beacon of stability in the region because of the American invasion. But clearly, he was wrong. Sam Harris has supported the profiling of Muslims and argued torture may be an ethical necessity in our war on terror. I'm just going to say, um. Sam Harris, I, I think he's right, you know, um, torture, anyway, 
Um, and also with atheism, there are no leaders. You are there isn't isn't a bible for that shit. Right? Isn't isn't a belief or a system that makes you do stuff. It is atheism. It's a point. It's a point blank stuff. It doesn't doesn't lead you to do anything. Although you know you might hate Christians or whatever. But anyway, um, so there are no leaders in atheism. There might be people that are radical atheists, although I've never heard of that shit. Like, people shooting up stuff. Anyway, um, let's go on with the next clip, because this is clearly fucking wrong. New Atheist push Islamophobia because of a misunderstanding of and hate for religion. Well, yeah. Uh, if you're an atheist, you're probably going to be an anti-theist. Just be honest here. Like, usually they're anti-theists. And if you're an atheist and you're not, Fuck you, mate. Seriously, get, just shut up. I'm okay with you being a terrorist, but I want to do it myself. Come on. They don't believe in a god, and believe that by eradicating religion, the world would be a better place. However, they seem to be completely unconcerned that the methods their rhetoric supports to attack religion are violent and oppressive in themselves. Sorry, if you're an atheist, how a new it or a new atheist, how are you being violent by saying fuck you if you're a Muslim? You know, and it's a majority that do believe in like ISIS members. You know, it's not ISIS, just ISIS. You know, terrorism stuff like that. It's a majority of them. I could bring up tons of statistics that show this shit. I right, so shut up, mate. Like, I'm not being violent, and of course I'm being oppressive to them, because they shouldn't exist, okay? L just the same as any other religion. Namely, unending wars, where the most poor and disadvantaged are collateral damage. Oh, this goddamn atheists always going to attack the people in Iraq. Damn, how do you do that? Oh, yeah, and those Muslims, yeah, they, they did bomb us. They did, uh... 9-11, stuff like that, uh, you know, you know, that. well, just forget about that part, and then that's just, atheists, yeah, they're attacking people, apparently, how, I, I, I do not understand, but, you know, what, what whatever. And far-reaching government surveillance that threatens the freedoms we generally associate with Western democracy. I want to get what atheists or new atheist is going around saying, oh yeah, we should have surveillance. Mm, yeah, we get them in surveillance. No, that doesn't happen, because most, I say most atheists would agree that censorship, surveillance, uh, stuff like that is uh, bad, mainly bad for us. Comrades, we need to actively fight the false narrative of new atheists toward religion, and more specifically Muslims. Because as I said in the last video, we have common problems we can more effectively face together, and we can add new atheism to that list. Again with the comradeship, what's wrong with you man, come on. And you gotta add it to your list, ooh, I'm so fucking scared me, woo! Um, but yeah guys, that's the end of the video. That was a fun ride for me at least, damn! This guy was, uh, well he was certainly special. Um, so yeah guys, I will see you in the next video. Uh, on my channel, if you want to pop pie again, you can click that subscribe button. YouTube's uh, recommend no YouTube shit, so it probably won't show up unless you know you signed in on your phone or something like that. But yeah, I'll we'll see you later, guys. Bye.